guys, it's G2 here, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to set up a Lightroom, because uh, a lot of people, they, like, a lot of beginners just usually, you just take a Lightroom from someone's pack or something, free graphics pack or something like that, but uh, a lot of people don't actually know how to set up their own, and that's one of the key points if you're trying to get yourself what people say known in this community, you, you have to come up with your own stuff, it, it's that simple. Like, you have to do something and put your own twist on it. So Lightroom is a perfect place to start because that's like the uh, mother of making renders. So it, the Lightroom gives birth to the render. And that wasn't really funny, but who cares? So um, a lot of people that start off, they don't really know. They, they come up and they do their Lightroom and stuff, but they don't know what half the settings mean. And a lot of people get a render like this when they start. They have all the black and all, all that fun stuff, and it, it doesn't work out very good for them. So then they just end up resorting back to someone's pack Lightroom, and uh, then they just sit there for the rest of their two years, and then they quit. Then they come back under a different name. But that's besides the point. So uh, we're going to make our own Lightroom, and uh, it's going to be pretty simple. Just follow my steps, and uh, you guys can end up putting your own twist on this stuff. So uh, right here, this is the render settings. You just double-click the little gear thingy. Excuse me. And uh, preset, we're going to go to film and video, and then we're going to come to HD TV 1080. Alright. Now, if you really want your renders to be good, you can put up to 300 DPI. And uh, what that is, it's pixels per inch. So um, that's 300 pixels per inch on your screen. It's like uh, miles per hour. It's it's kind of like that. So uh, that, that's pretty simple. Uh, we can click lock ratio. So if you end up changing this, it changes everything else. But uh, so that just keeps it the same there. Film aspect, HDTV 16 by 9. Frame rate, 29.97. Frame range. We would just want current frame. Unless you're doing animation, then you want to change these. But most people just do backgrounds. So uh, that's the settings right here for basic Lightroom. And uh, if your computer, if you find yourself having a hard time rendering out 300 DPI, you can just change it back to 72. So, but 300 DPI is always an option. So that, that might help you, especially with the HD, like, size that's going to, as soon as you shrink it into the actual, like, resolution you have to work with, it is going to look really nice. So, uh, then we're going to come to save. Alright, now here is where people end up messing up, and they get this. They get the black on there. They they start crying and they're like, "Oh my god, I suck at graphics. I gotta go quit and come back under a different alias after I figure this out." But uh, it's really just ticking a box, and that box is called Alpha Channel. And what that does is it takes a certain color code for black, and basically it, it's like a green screen. It just gets rid of it. It just it, your render becomes the black becomes transparent. So it doesn't show up in your render, and then you get the nice renders, and you don't have to worry about it. So, now we're going to go to the format. We're going to change it to PNG. That's what I do. File, just put, I just have mine set as render. So then every time I hit render up here, I don't have to go through and change the output. Just sets it to render, and it renders on my desktop, and I just change the file after it finishes rendering out. <coughs> so... And now we have multi-pass, don't deal with that. Anti-aliasing, I go best. It just works good for me. Now what anti-aliasing does, from what I believe it does, is um, when you have, like when your pixels are in a line, especially if you work with like pixel graphics or something, you have the different color pixels or different transparencies. What that does is it just makes it more crisper. So, uh, that, that's as much as I know about it. I don't claim to be, like, a professional or anything. I just go off of what I've taught myself and what I've observed. So, now another thing you want to do is ambient occlusion. I probably said that wrong, but who cares? I don't mess with this. I just let it sit. Um, I have color correction on mine. I usually just bring the saturation up a little bit. It just helps in the render. Bring out some of those colors that are stuck on the inside. Um, you don't want to mess with the brightness or anything because that will mess up your alpha channel. Um, contrast, put that up to 5. Exposure is going to mess with it. Gamma, I don't know what gamma does. I don't care. Um, another effect a lot of people do is global illumination. Ooh, not glow. Come on, get off of there. Thank you. A lot of people use global illumination. 
but uh, I find that you don't really need that. It just adds a lot of uh, extra time to your render, so I don't use it. But I mean, this is basically your render settings that you need for a basic Lightroom, and they're gonna end up pretty well. So uh, now we're gonna do an example render after we set up the lights and stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna merge something. I'll just merge my uh, logo by Brandon. All right. So now we have this. And what I like to do usually is I just bring mine in a little bit so it's closer to work with. And then eh, that, that looks pretty close in the middle for me. Um, we're going to bring the screen down. All right, and after we get our screen adjusted, what we're going to do is come to the camera. We're going to go camera. And then, let's see, okay, so what this little button does, how we have this little box. All right, I'll show you. As soon as you come over here, this is your camera, all right. This is your camera, blah 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 blah. That that it looks like a camera, it looks like a film camera, like one of them little 1980s film projectors. And as soon as you hit this little box, this puts you in the perspective mode. So uh, that's what the camera is seeing. And as soon as you take it off, it puts you back over here. So if you that's so you always have the same spot when you render, and you're not messing up your uh, view or anything. You just get um. I don't know, more regular and uh, precise results. So uh, that's really that's a key to this. Um, like being not in the camera works well if you have to fix something on the sides. But besides that, I just usually stick in the camera the whole time because I don't really move around much. But uh, that's a little trick there. And then most people know this, but if you have a spline, you just hit extrude nerves and then you drag uh, the spline in there. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. All right. And then 65 is what I usually work with. And we're not going to mess with any of that because now we're going to have our light. Alright, th this gets you the highlights and shadows and whatever else you want on there. But uh, a really simple way to do lighting, this is what I learned when I first started, was you have your light and then we're going to go to MoGraph. I believe it's Cloner. And we're going to drag the light into the cloner. And then we're going to mess with these settings. We're going to change the mode to radial. And we're going to change the plane to, nope, not this one, XZ. And, uh, and then we're going to put the radius out a little bit. And, yeah. And that's, I'm just going to put it to 500. I don't even care. One, two. All right. And then we're going to put it to, we can do about 10. And uh, that that's some really simple lights. I mean, it works well for this. And I'll toss on global illumination so you guys can see what it does. But uh, besides that, I mean, that, that's a really simple Lightroom. Um, you can move around all the lights. They're easily adjustable. You can put more lights. As you can see, it changes the shadows. So probably up here at like 150 something. That works pretty well. Um, Globe illumination. What it does is it takes the lights, and I I don't know it maps it better. I don't really pay that much attention because I like I said I don't use it. But uh, that that's the basic Lightroom, guys. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys figure some stuff out. I'll even make a little material here for you. Make a little. We'll make it red, and then we'll go to reflection. Put it to like fifteen, and I'll put a Fresnel on it. Ran that to like 10, and that's a really simple reflection material. Boom, click the render button. Boom, it's red. Surprise. All right, so uh, hope you guys learned a lot. Hope you guys can take some stuff from this tutorial, apply it to yourself. I mean, come up with your own stuff. That, like I said, that's really the key to uh, being independent and. It, you know, it's it's really simple. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.